Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and helping me call this one is Kirk Herbstreet. And Aaron Andrews also joins us on the sidelines. Welcome to College Football, brought to you by EA Sports on ESPN. Today's game is between the Louisiana Lafayette Ragin' Cajuns and the USC Trojans. We're at the home of the 1984 Summer Olympics. It's Los Angeles, California. Cajuns, what are you looking for from their offense? What can be really effective in this spread offense is the option. If the quarterback's got the legs for it, you can really throw a defense off balance by incorporating option runs with such a wide open field. They don't often use a huddle. While it's not quite a hurry up, it can still be very hard on a defense to regroup between plays. For UL Lafayette, they've got a linebacker who's a force to be reckoned with. I can't wait to see how he performs against a real top-notch tailback. It should be a test of his run-stopping ability. Kickoff is just ahead, but first let's take you down for the coin toss. We'd like to take this time to let you know that our game is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Number Louisiana Lafayette to lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he's met immediately. That'll be a gain of three yards. Second down and seven. Ball on the 30. Back to pass. And it's knocked down. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Gets it. He's in space. He gets hit out of bounds at the 40-yard line. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Looks to pass. Complete. He's got room. Inside the 30. For the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? the extra point. So we take a moment here. Let's check out the drive summary. Southern California is lining up to kick this one off. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. So they've got their work cut out for them. Down a touchdown. They shouldn't be worried at all, Brad. They've got plenty of time to put points on the board and look to tie on this drive. 
Looks like an option here. He laterals. Tackle made at the 41. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. They'll throw on first down. Brought down at the 47-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. He may have changed things up here. Look at the throw. And he shoved out of bounds around the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They'll give it off here. Nice run there. Changing the play. He drops back. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. And he's tackled at the 11-yard line. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Second down. They'll line up on the 10. Gets it away and it's a touchdown. The tight end scored that time and with authority. Brad is a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. And now we take a look at the drive summary. Louisiana Lafayette to kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's at midfield. And they finally tackle him at the 32. And he almost broke it for the score. You're right. They talked all week long about getting his tailback involved in their offense. Here they just gave it to him on a toss, and he was able to come up with some big yards. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Looks to pass. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. That's one where the pass rush and the coverage came together perfectly to disrupt the offense and nearly force a turnover. He drops back. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. Third down. He 
He's looking to pass. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Well, they dug a bit of a hole for themselves and were forced into a low percentage pass play here on third down. But the good news is they still have a shot at some points. They punch it in for six in the last series. Can they do it again? This drive will start at the 16. Takes it left on the option. They'll knock him down for a loss. The defense needs to be careful. Safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. Here's the option. Gets out to around the 22. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. He may have changed things up here. Again with the run. And they make the stop right around the 34. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. He drops back. Good tackle there in space. Number 26 makes the reception. Number 17 makes the tackle at the 43 yard line. That brings up second and one. Back to pass. Pass complete, but out of bounds. Great hands there by the wide receiver. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get a foot down in bounds. Now let's go down to our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. She's got an injury update. Thanks, guys. He was complaining about pain in his shoulder, and right now the trainers are trying to stretch it out. When asked about his chances of returning, he said if it was up to him, he'd be on the field for the next play. Guys, back up to you upstairs. Well, that's good to hear. Thank you for the report, Aaron. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. First down, look at the throw. The pass is incomplete. Number three, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Makes it second this is the eighth ten. play of this drive. Back to pass. Slings it out there incomplete. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time. But he'll get the next one. Drops back to pass. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. Calls for the fair catch. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. It's the toss, and he's got a block on the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. A pickup of about three. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. And we're all tied up at the end of the first quarter. At the end of the first quarter, the score is tied. It's third and four. They come out in a five-wide set. Looking to throw. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. He goes down at the 44. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. It's 
first and ten. Ball on the 24. Looks to pass. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. It's complete. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Hand off and they won't make it. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Signals for a fair catch. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Give to the tailback. Brought down around the 22-yard line. Tailback brought down for a loss. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. He drops back. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He can tackle immediately. One yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all with the offensive play call. to pass. And they got him. Well, they sent the quarterback, and he was able to make the sack. The offensive line was just too slow to pick him up. By the time they saw him, it was just too late. It's fourth down. Here comes the punter, looking to boot this one away. It's a block on the corner. There's, there's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Flipping on the receiving team. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. Throw on first down. Slings it out there incomplete. That one sailed on him. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. That makes it second and ten. And they get the sack. Great play by the defense. For that time, they came with the blitz, and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with the sack. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. He drops back. Doesn't get there. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Didn't get all of that one. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it.
He looks to throw on first down. Throws out to the back and it's through his hands. It's always good to get your backs involved in the passing game, but you never want to put him in a situation like that. Maybe he should have just thrown the ball away. Hands off left and they got him behind the line. The defense calls a timeout. He drops back. What a collision! The defense calls a timeout. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. They'll go to work at the 42. They come out on an empty backfield. He drops back. Second and ten. Ball on the 42. That makes it second and ten. Good time to bring the pressure. Yeah, I like it because even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. Looks to pass. Looking deep to the right. Can't connect. They're going to have to be more successful throwing the football. You can't gain solid yardage if the defense isn't concerned about the passing game. They're going to end up crowding the line of scrimmage, expecting a run on every down. He goes at the 28. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. He's looking to pass. Complete. He's brought down in the open field. The offense calls a timeout. Third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They go with the run. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. The offense calls a timeout. Makes it second and eight. Back to pass. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. down grab and he's tackled at the 44 throws out and through his hands here's the eighth play of the series second down drops back to pass Open receiver drops. Number six, the intended receiver. Third and ten. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He throws it. Jarred loose. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wide out was left out to try that time. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. And now he's got room to run. And they bring him down at the 49. Tip 
ripped away. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That makes it second and ten. Drops back to Pence. And he's going to come up with a sack. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. The offense calls a timeout. to pass he's going to try and scramble he's looking for his man it's complete tackle made around the 35 yard line and we'll go into halftime here with a score all deadlocked Southern California is lining up to get their second half started. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. First of foul, face mask on the defense. First down. They'll start at the 41-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. He drops back. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw, and it got away from him. That makes it second and ten. Looks to pass. Throws, and it's incomplete. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. They go to the ground, and he stops short. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. So it's fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. They'll bring him down at the 23. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. First and ten. Ball on the 47. They go with a run. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Seven-yard play. It's second and three. Ball on the 46-yard line. Penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's second and 13. Ball on the 44. Looks to pass. 
Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. First and ten, ball on the 42. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Good open field tackle. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. That brings up second and five. Here's an option, right side. Gets to about the 34-yard line. They get three yards on the play. And the defense had great pressure there. They blitzed the middle linebacker, and there were no holes for the halfback to run through. Here's the give. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive on this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. From the 26-yard line, first down. Here's a running play. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. About six yards on the play. It's second and four to go. Ball on the 20. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. Makes the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Looks to pass. Fires incomplete. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. He gets it up, and it's long enough. No good, he missed it to the right. So they can't break the tie on the miscue by the kicker. He better get over that miss fast. I have a feeling they might need him again before this game is over. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. Wide open and he just drops it. Second down and 10 to go. Hand off, and he's met immediately. And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. He's changing things up. the pass. Now he tries to buy some time. That close to being intercepted. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Whoa, he just took a licking. A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. Play action here. He's going to scramble. And he shoved out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. Not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass run. First and ten. Ball on the 45. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Drops back on first down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Very good tackle in space. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. 
You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of about two. That'll bring up second and 12. Feeds it to the back. Gets out to around the 18. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. From the 18-yard line, first down. That's the end of three, and get ready for an action-packed fourth That's quarter with this game quarter, all tied up. This offense has really stalled on their last two trips to the red zone. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. And they executed that one perfectly. First and goal as they look to take the lead. They put everyone up on the line. On the run, touchdown! Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. And here's our drive summary. USC lines up for the kickoff. And he's taken down at the 26. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Well, they have a little bit of time, but I think it's very crucial that they get the ball in the end zone on this possession. They'll take over at the 26-yard line. First and 10. Left, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Hands it to the back. He tackles him for a loss. The score that one is a win for the defensive line. They got the better of the offensive line right there. He's changing things up. He's got it with room to run. And they tackle him at the 48-yard line. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver. But it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. They go with the run. Tackled for a loss. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. Second down now, 14 to go. Ball in their own 47. Got a 
man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're facing with a third and long. He's looking to pass. Completes it across the middle. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. Looking to throw. Got his receiver. Dropped it. Incomplete. Number 83 was the intended receiver. Here's the eighth play of the series. Second down. Takes it right and brought down right away. A pickup of about three. Good pressure from the defense. They brought the heat. Wasn't much room for the running back to work with. Batted down, incomplete. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Drops back to pass. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Looks to pass. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. The screen play worked that time for a decent pickup. Yep, you're right. Excellent call to go to the screen to maybe slow down this defensive pass rush a little bit. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Southern California is up by a touchdown. They're going to pitch it. Makes it to the 47. The defense calls a timeout. USC is up a score. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Hands it to the back. Tackle to the 35-yard line. We've got first and 10. All on the 35-yard line. They run it left and a nice tackle right there. The defense calls a timeout. He gets another carry. Taken down and he works the last for a nice game. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football. But for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. From the 25-yard line, first down. Southern California up seven points. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Give to the tailback. Makes it out to about the 13. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. First down. About 12 yards out. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 15. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the 
ball game's over. And our final score on this one, USC 14, Louisiana Lafayette 7. It's time to bring you the Reese's Perfect Play of the Game, which is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Any final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Coming into this football game, you expected a hard-fought game, and they put on a great show and definitely did not disappoint us. USC really had to fight and make some big plays to come out on top in the end. This one was never a gimme. Take a look at our choice for today's player of the game. He made a big contribution to his team's win. Thank that brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 11.